Greetings YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and just a quick Final Fantasy XII standalone video for you today where I'm going to show you how to spawn the Negalma rare mob in the Steel Shrine of Miriam. Stay tuned! So we're going to be starting here. I'm just going to bring this up on the map and you can see where we are in the Steel Shrine of Miriam. This is where the save point is that is previously a green save point monster type thing that you have to kill in order to turn into a normal save point. I'm sure you remember. And what we're going to do is head into the area that's just to the west. And this is where the enemy that we're after, which is Negal can spawn. The only thing is, there's a couple of things we need to do in order to get him to spawn. The first thing we need to do is kill all the enemies that are in here. And in particular, there's a purple Ixian type enemy that's at the bottom of the hallway. He needs to die, or you will not get Negalmer to spawn at all. Now this guy likes to teleport around, but just wait for him, and he'll pop back once he realises we're not having fun and games chasing him. So we take this guy out. It's not too difficult, but if you're low level, then just make sure you're guarding against dark and have somebody to heal up your status effects. Negative status effects, that is, of course. And once you've cleared out all the enemies, we're going to leave this area. But that's not the only thing we have to do. The other thing is, you have to make sure you've spent at least 30 minutes in this dungeon. If you haven't spent 30 minutes in the dungeon, then the enemy won't spawn before that. Oh, I'm getting level up hype all over the place here. So, occasionally you'll pop back in and some of the enemies might respawn, so you just have to take care of them again. So long as you have waited that 30 minutes in this dungeon, done other things here or whatever, then uh, with all the mobs cleared, this guy should be spawning. And he should spawn where the statue is on just the other side of this corridor here. Uh, but because I did want to check that he'd spawned and he had, I ran back out and he did follow me, which is why he was by the door. Uh, but you can actually use this guy for another auto-leveling if you want to do so. And you can just set your gambits up to automatically kill these adds and he'll keep spawning them over and over. Just make sure that you're not going to do damage to the boss, oh, well it's not really a boss, but to the rare mob himself. Uh, because obviously if he dies then that's going to be over, you'd have to spawn him again. Uh, in terms of stealing, you can get a gem from him. And that's pretty much it. This video was mainly here to just show you how to spawn him. Hopefully it has been helpful to you in that regard. If it has, uh, please consider just dropping a like and letting me know in the comment section. And thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to uh, having your company as we continue on with the Final Fantasy XII walkthrough. Again, don't forget to check out the description for a link to that playlist. I've been your host Fuzzfinger, this has been Final Fantasy XII and I'll see you soon, take care.